Hello, Raymond and Storm here. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we went to Valroyo to try to figure out what it was that Blackwall was getting himself into. And we come to find out that Blackwall was, in fact, not actually Blackwall. His name was Tom Rainier. And he evidently was involved in some sort of assassination. Uh, during the Orlesian Civil War, before he came to um, become part of the Inquisition. Uh, after uh, that happened, he was apparently recruited by the real Grey Warden, Blackwall, but who died at some point, and uh, Tom then took over... Uh, his name to try to honor the legacy of who someone he considered to be a great man. And in that vein, now he has come clean in an effort to try to uh, make up for his past uh, transgressions. So, we need to decide what it is we're going to do about him. We're going to see if we can't get him remanded into our custody. And... Um... Then see what we're going to do about it. But for now, we are at the... Oh, that's right. And we also uh, did the little... Um, started the quest for Josephine, um, who is trying to re restore her family's nobility, but her messengers were getting killed. Turns out that the old noble family that had originally ex... Uh, really responsible for the exile of her family had instituted a contract with a guild of assassins to prevent them from being able to restore their ability um, but now that old family no longer exists so it's a bit of a weird situation that we now gotta see if we can figure out how to resolve so a few things going on but as I was about to say let's go ahead and pick up the missions that we had sent our uh, our advisors on House Amladaris. Go. A quiet message arrived from House Amladaris today. Considering the speed of the response, it seems hard to believe the family had no knowledge of what Dorian found in the book. I wonder how long they've sat upon the secret, wondering if it might someday come to light. Uh, the quiet message. My dear Inquisitor, we are most appreciative of the information you provided. How scandalous to think that there might be any connection between our house and those fiends of legend. It, it's not true, of course, and to reassure you on that point, I intend to dedicate my family toward helping the Inquisition in its righteous struggle. Yours in faith, Magister Irian of House Amladares. Master Spirit Room. Pursue Marquis Beaufort. Alright, the Grey Wardens fought their way through the mountains. The demons were savage, but the Grey Wardens held them off with great determination. As a result, we have located the Marquis, a secret stronghold deep in the Camorden Peaks. The Grey Wardens continue to fight bravely, but they have suffered many losses. I recommend deploying them with care, lest we lose them entirely. So we probably don't want to be utilizing the Grey Wardens too much more. Let's see. Let's go ahead and defeat them. Alright, we have this person trapped in her fortress in the Gamorden Peaks and are preparing to make a final assault. While we might earlier have ignored her transgressions in light of the greater threat to the world, it is good that we did not. Uh, Marquis Buffon's crimes go well beyond smuggling or illegal mining, and she has an ally in Lady Jeanette Lagasp, who has come with Venatory Mages to defend the Marquis. The Wardens have concerns about the Venatori using blood magic or their ties to Griffius to influence their minds, but are prepared to follow your orders. We cannot delay for long as demons in the mountains continue to harass our flanks. Please send your orders. Um, I'm not going to send the Wardens in this time. Let's see, my scouts can find an alternate, let's see, entrance. The inventory may not have time to affect the wardens. Let's give that a shot. Um, so these 
quizzes are completed, completed. All right, we're going to take this. If you think it worthwhile, we can have Tom Rainier, previously known as Blackwall, released from the Val Royal prison in which he awaits justice. Keep in mind, Inquisitor, that he is, he is wanted in Orlais for the massacre which claimed the lives of Lord Vincent Collier, general and staunch ally of Celine and all of Collier's family. I leave in your hands, Cullen. Well, Celine isn't Empress anymore. Oh, let's see. Request a special dispensation from the Orlesian throne, allowing Tom Rainer to be transferred to Inquisition custody. It's been anger some, but after Halam Shural, they owe us a favor. Two problems, one solution. There was a traitor to our cause, a man similar in build and appearance to Rainer. We bind and gag him and have him take Rainer's place. He is condemned instead, and the world believes. Rainier has paid the price. A eh, little too sneaky, underhanded for me there. Go storm the prison with a small force and take Rainier into custody. Val Royo's prison guards will oppose us. Should we pray for counsel? No, no, we're not going to force the issue. Let's try and take the diplomatic method. The dispensation came. Few questions asked, but passed, and Halam Shiral is fresh in their minds. Rainier awaits your judgment. We'll get to that in a moment. Alright, not much else to do here besides unlocking areas in Orlay. Hard in Hightown, trouble in Skyhold. Alright. Copies of Hard in Hightown 3. The repunching sit side by side on the table along with a note. Nightingale found several similarities in Vince and Varric's book, but all are slightly off. Okay, I think. Uh, follow up on the murder investigations. The book is just a work of fiction. No, I think I was going to have someone else do that. And the contact hero of Ferelden is busy because we have the Liana doing something else. Um, judgment, the death of Good Sir Ruth. Oh, that's the report we have ready. The report from Dwarven, a Dwarven runner that Warden Ruth was welcomed to a squad of the Legion of the Dead. The group descended into deep roads and did not return. As is tradition with the Legion, all were celebrated before they left. We received a number of appreciations in Sir Ruth's name. Josephine. Alright, aiding Kirkwall. The tumult of the Mage Rebellion has been quelled, however, the city where it all began, Kirkwall, still suffers from the consequences of the fanatic Anders' actions. Kirkwall was once my home. It was the home of Grand Cleric Elthenia. Elthina, who was a mother to me and so many others. I will not watch it languish. Starkhaven will soon embark on a mission of aid. We will send troops and workers to assist in the rebuilding and restoration of the city. I humbly entreat the Inquisition for help in this endeavor, Sebastian Vale. <sighs> Red Lear may present an obstacle to rebuilding the city. Our soldiers can assist in its removal. Hmm. Let's go with the diplomatic option with Josephine. At your service. Um. Josephine's apparently busy. The Major Collector sent me a letter. They're very organized. It was they who asked me to study the rifts. I mentioned that maybe anyway it was a very good idea. The Collective is interested in the results of my research, especially since I've been training you. Rift magic can be difficult, but I have lots of notes. If they read them carefully, there should be no mishaps. Magic's barely tested, at least have them study here. I will spare some Templars to supervise it. It means not sending those notes, maker knows where. Alright, do it. To work? Alright. The other thing we're going to do here at the war table before we head on out is investigate the shards. We're going to unlock this area. 
See, Sister Liliana, the shards acquired by the Herald of Andraste are unlike anything I've encountered. Though ancient in origin, few have been recovered before now. The breach must have disrupted whatever ancient magic was concealing them from view. I have heard of one scroll that mentions the shards. It belonged to the Circle Tower in Markham. However, after the circles fell, the Sorrel family seized many of the valuables as compensation for donations made after their mage son was taken there. They intend to sell the scroll along with everything else at private auction. Mentors seek these shards as well. I want to know where they lead. We can access this auction. All right. All right. Unlock that zone. But thanks for Lady Ambassador, I was able to study the scroll. The reference is vague, but it implies a connection to a temple, possibly elven. I followed the lead and believe one such temple stands in an oasis in the western approach. As to what may lie within, I cannot say. Reports of the place are cut off or have pages missing. I have yet to find a reliable first-hand account. Perhaps our soldiers can provide a better one. No, we're not going to adventure there just yet. Alright. I have to go deal with the black wall situation. Alright, so. I don't remember seeing anything in there for Josephine. I have to never double check next time we're at the war table. Oh, oh, wrong way. All right, let's see what we got. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes, well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. Um, I guess we'll play it nice for now. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I uh, had no choice. I wish there had been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? Uh, let's see. I give Rainer to the Wardens once this is over. Uh, let's give him an opportunity to atone for his crimes. I think. You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your pose, Tom Rainier. All right. Yeah, I think that's probably at least the option that I would want to go with here. Alright, for now, what I want to do 
The consequences of Blackwall's lie operation is available. Okay. We'll have to see what how that plays out. All right, let's go to the world map. Let's go to... The Forbidden Oasis. Oh, we need to speak to Josephine. And please to Leon, fellow Meyer. Uh, what I actually I guess we'll do is we'll go ahead and talk to Josephine about what happened in Val Royo before we head out of town. So sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Uh, you had no idea. You couldn't have known it would lead to this house of repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royo to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royo? Um... Uh, let me consider it. Give me some time to think this over. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. All right, dispatch Liliana's assassin. Speak with Josephine about the next move. Well, let's speak with her. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Uh, how do peasants become nobles? How exactly does one turn farmers into members of the upper classes? There are procedures for granting honored citizens of the Empire the title of Lord or Lady. Very long procedures. And so much paperwork. I've called in a substantial number of favors just to cut through half of it. Uh, tell me of the Du Paraquettes. Why did the Du Paraquettes hate the Montelliers so much they set up a permanent assassination watch? A Montelier and a Duparaquette fell in love. A young couple, pledged elsewhere, attempted to elope. The whole thing ended so violently, it's a wonder any survived. It's fortunate the Duparaquette's descendants hold no grudges. Ah, uh, how do you know that? What if the Duparaquettes refuse to aid you? I've already contacted the Duparaquettes, Inquisitor. They're ready to help us. It will be a long road, but a lordship is a chance to restore a proud lineage to their heirs. Besides, I've promised them a heavy bag of coin once this is over. Ah. That makes sense. Uh, can the contract be annulled? Are you sure the House of Repose will forget this assassin contract on a farmer's signature? It's perfectly legal. In Valroyo's noble circles, a written word is a bond. Besides, the guild would never risk being so unspeakably crass. You serious? These assassins are afraid of being seen as impolite? Breaking one's public oath or bond implies a certain poverty in our lane. A common merchant may lack the resources or manners to fulfill a debt, but among the guilds, it would be shameful. Okay, so what's the next move? You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royo if we want to make the Du Paraquettes lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. 
Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the two paraquets as lords. Alright, go to the war table and find a sponsor for the do paraquets. Something to work on. Uh, next time we go to the war table. Alright. Alright, yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick trip. To the Forbidden Oasis. Uh, let's bring. Let's see, Black Wall. Bull. Cassandra. And Varric. Inquisitor, I'm afraid we got here a little late. The Venatori were already here. We assume they're moving on the temple. Uh, tell me about this temple. Have you learned anything more about the temple? Sorry, we haven't been able to get close. Anything else? Anything else I should know? Not much to tell. A mining company out of Valfremont used to have an interest here, but economies changed and they moved on. Strange the miners never marked the temple on their maps. Oh, and some of the scouts saw a giant roaming in the area. Keep your eyes open. Don't want you to get stepped on. A giant, you say? Hmm. Requisition. Word for you. Report. What is it? This could help us. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, there is a ocularum here. Five potential shards. One. Two. Three, four. Is that fifth one? Oh, sometimes these last ones are always hard to. There it is. All right. Yep, I see Venatori moving around. Make sure my potions are filled out. Yep, we are good. Oh, and nothing to report, sir. Just fill that in. Storm Coast Geological Survey, Western Approach Geological Survey. A footbridge constructed by the Enver's Mining Company. A few words are carved into a plank, only faintly visible in the weathered wood. Pass the time with another day, all the same, but you earn your pay. Alright, so there's another landmark over here we can claim. This statue. Sketches of the statue from various angles occupy several pages of the journal. I've seen the pose before, often represents the burdens carried by those who die by the sword. Usually the man or the head of his enemy bears some identifying mark, but I can find none here. Perhaps 
There's some message in their uniformity. No claims to personal glory, only stern acceptance of duty given the approaches association with the wardens. It is a fitting sentiment. Okay. Alright, so we got shards all over the place. Um, I want to head for the camp. back up. Doesn't look like we can get there from here. Climb up there. All right. Well, let's get rid of these guys. Sorry. Well, Harding told us they were here. Keep your guard up. Looks like we have a rift. Okay, and dispel these two. Quest marker. Hello? Who are you? Why are you following me? I'm just looking for stuff to salvage. I used to work here. But I know no one needs it. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm with the Inquisition. Been out here a while. But I'll assume that's important. Doesn't explain why you're following me. You came out here to salvage? You came all the way out here to salvage old mining equipment? Mostly, I wanted to go into this one cave. Used to store stuff there. Damn thing wasn't overrun by spiders then. I put my wedding ring there. Couldn't stand the sight of the thing. <laughs> but I couldn't throw it away, either. Oh, it was a stupid argument. Part of me knew I'd still want that ring. All right. I'll leave you be. Right. See you then. All right. So now I have a quest to retrieve the ring. Let's at least get to this camp site here. Set up the camp. Then we're going to work our way through this rather maze-like area as we try to um, gather the shards and find this temple. We also need to make sure that we keep the stuff at the war table running. Um, but I think for now we're going to end the episode here a few minutes early. Uh, but we'll uh, get to work here again when we get back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.